Hello everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today I'll be reading The Night Before St. Patrick's, a book by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Amy Wilmer. Twas the night before St. Patrick's, the day to wear green. Not a creature was stirring except Tim and Maureen. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Later they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we can catch a leprechaun, they love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they'd find he buried his big pot of gold. They set all the traps round the room with great care in hopes of we Irishmen soon would be theirs. The children then nestled all snug in their beds while visions of golden coins danced in their heads. Happy St. Patty's, said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning he huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. When from their bedroom there arose such a clatter, the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter and what to their wondering eyes should appear. But a terrible mess, a leprechaun was here. Be quiet, whispered Marine. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish quick as a wink. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor, which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. And then inside a trap, they heard someone giggling. A real live leprechaun, they both saw him wriggling. His eyes, how they twinkled, his body so tiny, his hands clasped a trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed in all green from his head to his toes, and he looked for like a cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky. No lies. I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X right in your backyard. But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. Ha ha, I fooled you. It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you and better luck next year. Thank you for letting me share my St. Patrick's Day book. Here are some suggestions from our students. I would like to recommend The Gingerbread Man and and the leprechaun loose at school because it is about a gingerbread man at school and he finds a leprechaun and the leprechaun wrecks the entire school and the gingerbread shop um, sets up a trap for the leprechaun to get um, trapped into. I recommend How to Catch a Leprechaun because I love how creative their traps are and they're so confident on catching the leprechaun.